We do begin, though, with some breaking news. A search warrant has just been served at the home of L.A. County Supervisor Sheila Kuehl. Fox 11 photographer Sam Dubin is on the phone with us now to talk about what we know. This is just developing, Sam. Yes, good morning. I'm actually here with uh, Supervisor Kuehl, uh, myself, and uh, Supervisor, what happened uh, this morning? Uh, there was banging on my door, loud banging, uh, at about 7 a.m., and um, I, you know, opened the door, and there were very many sheriff's deputies, uh, kind of, I would say, swarming outside. One of them presented me with a warrant to search the house, uh, which has no information in it at all, uh, signed by a judge who is a friend of the sheriff's. Um, but this strikes me as being part of a uh, sort of a bogus uh, non-investigation. There is no investigation going on that would support this warrant. Um, now, earlier when I was talking to you, you mentioned, though, you think it could possibly be related to a disgruntled uh, Metro employee with some uh, contracts? Uh, I, my guess is because they're also searching Metro at the same time. They're serving a warrant at Metro? Someone's told you that? Um, I heard it through. Well, they took my phone, so as you know, I have no um, communication at all. But apparently, Metro is also being searched. Uh, years ago, uh, a woman who was later uh, really let go from Metro somehow became obsessed with a contract that was let to a nonprofit named Peace Over Violence, run by Patty Giggins, and claimed that I had something to do with them getting the contract which is totally false because contract didn't even come to the Metro board. It was so small. And I didn't even know they had such a contract. So, so you're saying you're not involved in this at all and that they're not going to find anything that would prove you guilty of anything inside your house? The only thing they're going to find inside my house is maybe a few cat videos and, you know, those kind of things that regular people have. Are you hearing from your staff or that your office right now? Is, are there any other warrants you're hearing of besides the, the Metro office? Uh, I heard from county council last night that she got a tip from Max that this search would happen. M Max Huntsman? Yeah, from Max Huntsman that this search would happen this morning. But I had gotten a call from the LA Times last week with the same information and it never happened, so I thought it was just bogus. Okay, and hang on. Sandra Endo would like to ask you a question. She's going to tell it in my ear and I'll ask it to you. Sandra, go ahead. Sam, you're doing a great job and I know this is part of your work. You've been doing it as um, You've been investigating a lot of these stories with a colleague of ours, but uh, if we could ask the supervisor, she kind of mentioned this is all bogus. It's no secret that the supervisors have had beef with the LA County Sheriff. Is she suggesting that this is kind of just the battle between the two sides? Yeah, so uh, Sandra Endo um, was asking, you know, the, the Board of Supervisors has had a very uh, turbulent relationship with the uh, uh, Sheriff Alex Villanueva. Do you think um, this has to do with that? Do you think this is some sort of a retaliation in, in a sense? Uh, I think the Sheriff's Department going along with this Metro employee and uh, instigating so much uh, man and woman power to come for a bogus search indicates the Sheriff's Department is complicit in this. And uh, Alex, I am told, recused himself from this, but that means, of course, that he knows about it, and everything resides, all the blame resides with him anyway. If he doesn't know about it, that means there's a rogue yeah, element I, within the sheriff's department, and either way, it's totally out of control. You did mention that earlier. That, oh, I'm sorry, we have one, one question from Tony McEwing right now. Tony, go ahead. Yeah, uh, Sam, if you, could, if you could pass along, I mean, the sheriff's department is the one who is enforcing the warrant, but it, a judge has to sign off on it. So why would she think a judge would sign off on a warrant if it's bogus? Um, so what Tony's asking is, you know, the sheriff's department is here uh, enforcing the uh, warrant. Uh, you know, they're the ones knocking on your door. But at the end of the day, it's a, it's a judge who's signing off on it, and they have to have some sort of, you know, uh, reason to believe they'll find something in, inside, inside, your, uh, inside your house. Well, of course, as we all now know, uh, the underlying affidavit is something that I'm not privy to. Uh, and so I don't know what might have been claimed because when this happened to Patty Giggins last year, she was told by the Sheriff's Department there is no ongoing investigation. They didn't know why this happened. So I'm assuming there's no ongoing investigation because I had never heard anything from the Sheriff's Department, from any investigative agency, from anything 
uh, and it's, um, you know, it's unfortunate because it's harassment, and the sheriff should have stopped it. When they came to your door this morning, uh, you, when they came to your door this morning, you had mentioned that you were, you know, asleep and you were you were startled. Talk about that. Well, there's something very frightening about someone pounding on your door at seven in the morning. Uh, and as you know, there have been demonstrations at my house, so I'm already very sensitive to people pounding on my door, etc. So um, I was frightened. But county council had texted me last night that, that she had gotten this. Uh, tip that this was going to happen. So when I opened the door, I mean, there were so many deputies, you wouldn't even believe it. It was like, what a waste of person power. Okay, and we really appreciate you talking to us uh, live right now. And um, just to wrap it up, though, um, you know, you're saying that you're, you're not guilty of anything, um, nothing that, you know, that, you know, you can think of well, why they would be at your house. I have never committed any felony. I know nothing about any of the, what they're talking about. My belief is that it's based on this old obsession by the Metro employee that some contract was let out at my behest with which I had nothing to do. I didn't even know about the contract. So um, it's all based on a very slim thread, and it's clearly harassment. Okay. Supervisor Sheila Kuehl, thank you for talking to us live this morning on Good Day LA. And we're going to send it back to uh, Sandra and uh, Aroxia and Tony. All right, Sam Dubin, thank you so much. Excellent work there. That's such a nice job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely.